The number e is one of the most fundamental constants in all of mathematics. And next to pi, e is probably the most important. So you can see here, I have an equation that e is defined by. And in a later video, I'll show you exactly how to derive this equation. But e is equal to 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial and so on where, for instance, 3 factorial is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. And e, written as a decimal, is equal to 2.718281, and it goes on forever. e has an infinitely long decimal expansion, since it is an irrational number like pi. And you can see that I have a picture of the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, which is my hometown. And the reason I show this is because the shape is defined by the number E. So one way you can think about the arch is that it's essentially a giant monument to the number E. And before I start to talk about the history of E, I want to give you a better idea of what E exactly is or at least a better understanding of why it's so important to mathematics and nature. So we know that pi can be considered as the circle constant. So if I had a circle, then the area of that circle is equal to pi times the radius of the circle squared, where the radius is the length from the center point of the circle to its edge. And if we set the radius equal to 1, then the area of the circle is equal to pi. So pi, you can think of as the circle constant. But e, you can think of as the constant for hyperbolas. So for instance, if I have the equation y is equal to 1 divided by x, its graph looks like this. And if we were to look at the area under this curve, let's say from where x is equal to 1 all the way to where x is equal to e, then this area right here, this area, is equal to 1. And if you're unfamiliar with hyperbolas, a great example is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, but another good example is with our solar system. So let's say this is the sun and a comet is coming in at a very high speed. Then the path that that comet will take is a hyperbola. Since the speed of the comet is so fast, the comet never makes a closed orbit. So it sort of slingshots around the sun. So this path that a comet takes is a hyperbola. And one more example, let's say we're on a rocket ship on Earth and we'd like to escape Earth's gravity, then the path that that rocket will take is also a hyperbola. And now this is only when you escape Earth's gravity. So this path is also a hyperbola. So you can see that E and pi both share fundamental roles in mathematics and they're actually connected to each other. If we start to introduce imaginary numbers or complex numbers where i is the square root of negative 1, then their relationship becomes much more concrete. For instance, the famous Euler's identity, e to the i times pi power plus 1 is equal to 0, and this identity is considered by mathematicians to be the most beautiful equation in all of mathematics. And another closely related identity, i to the minus i power is equal to the square root of e to the pi. So now that you have some idea of e's importance, we can start to talk about its history. 